what they had. I thought we weren't gonna be able to win this today. Darn, I can't turn around face to the quick day broken back thing. Is that I see what's going on up there on the screen? What he put in flag and yeah, just continue the conversation, okay. See, you weren't called in swing, dog. Oh, and so we're going to just pull the Ernie got it up pretty quick. Well, pretty quick for us anyway. I don't know. But having is still well, I'm no longer talking to the guy behind the mic, I'm not talking to the audience. Uh, and yes, there wasn't sound at the beginning, it was real, real cry. Couldn't figure it out. Then I think then Reacto was crashed. And now it's back, and now never. I'm trying to avoid the disaster of the Mega Man Maker videos before. Then, uh, it's the, uh, in it to play. Uh, sure, I've never really played a song before. Uh, ow. You know, I just thought I was kind of for a dream eater. Crane's a goal. <laughs> yeah. That's right, this thing was, uh, me. This thing is getting made after the only. But I'm gonna make a few lap nail me make after the Queen's of God he could Gamari glitz video. I do uh never say he was going, I guess six a few more things. Uh I guess go film cap scrolls. Um uh that's the character specific one down. Oh, I'm not that one. Okay, there it is. I can of see up there what's going on about to do here. Hopefully this will work on spring while I'm recording. No, I'm screwed up. So I need to take that off. Keep on. Okay, I'll go. That worked. And it just that thing a spacebar turned off the keyboard. Now uh, let's see and look at the mouse so on that way. I'll go there. Well up there at the back of the screen that you guys actually are walk through. I'm not gonna be selling that. Uh, I don't really need this anymore, guys. I can just go like that. Uh, turn this off. I can move the uh, react uh, west window to the middle of the screen where I can see it easier. Now, I spent some time beforehand just trying to uh, figure out. Uh, I, by the way, I need to finish up one thing. I'm uh, talking specifically as April now. Um, yeah, so I took the trench coat off. I wanted to spend the rest of the day lounging and my KKs were funny, but I got cold in the good dust. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now back to the main thing I was going to do here. All about the art and attend the that I haven't played the gun yet. Okay, I think last time I was in the, uh, uh when I sing somewhere, you know, Oh, double check the sanctuary. Uh, where is that? Oh, wait, yeah, where's this place? Pleasant us. I guess I'm, I'm, guess I'm doing the golden sayers. Uh, it's Dagon Street. Oh, where's the money now? I'm pretty sure I still need it. And Ma's name is there still, for whatever reason. Merchant's Guild, I don't know why that would be important. Oh, I'm real damn work up. Yeah, I'm usually a crack, 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 crack. I couldn't easily take the map.
but I could use it to work out some things. I keep thinking that I've already done this, but I don't have the video, so I'll end it not that way. The map couldn't help with that. The symbol I'd found. The symbol. All this occult business. How do I let go of the, the symbol? The murders were marking out a perfect octogram, just like the one that had been used to free Nylonathotep from Sunken Lesh centuries ago. If I was right, there would be two more murders, one in Tegan Street and one in the Wizard's Pleasance. Uh, okay. If I knew which one was next, I could stake it out. In the center of the octogram was the Disc Theater, which almost certainly meant some kind of cosmic evil was entombed there. Double click on that, and maybe it works correctly. The moon over Dagon Street lit the rundown alley. It didn't look like anyone was around. It was as abandoned as the Octarine Parrot on open stage night. Ah! To take May Street to my hometown. I wasn't about to... One of the shops in the street was called the Three Jolly Luck Takeaway Fish Bar. I remembered that name from somewhere. Something to do with Mr. Hong. I remember he went missing somehow. The abandoned fish bar was boarded up tight. Right, thank you. Looking at the all of... I used to pray, Valerie. Name, he never knows it's a uh, good Jurassic. So... The fish bar was littered with assorted debris. Amongst the debris, I found a bone that seemed a little out of place. Yeah, like all the other bones that are in place. Am I in me? I need to go there with the bank where talks for me. I got good sun time. Says to be a new one. There was a disturbing dark magenta scent in the fish bar, something that resonated with cosmic evil. It scared me. It scared me that anything could have such a disturbing scent. And it scared me that I could tell what color cosmic evil was. You know? Oh, and well, what is it? Galactus is perfect. Galvatron is problem. Cyclocus is problem. Oh, cause I need to. Is a bone that specifically mentioned the bone right seemed out of it. place somehow. Huh? I wasn't sure uh, why.
I knew there was something familiar about the bone. It was a human femur. Just like in Titus Diplodocus, someone had been dismembered and eaten. That meant there was only the wizard's pleasance to go, and the octogram would be complete. The pleasance was part of Unseen University, nestled against the river Ankh and cut off from the city by a wall. The river Elsterdam? I can see it now. I'm gonna have to bleed off. <laughs> The wizard's pleasance was a small, newt-haunted meadow in a horseshoe bend in the Ankh, inside the grounds of the Unseen University, separated from it but connected to the university gardens by the Bridge of Sides. On summer evenings, if the wind is blowing towards the river, it is a nice area for a stroll. Ah, that actually looks a lot like this bridge over a canal in the park in my town. I'm leaning over. It's just another break in the old The pleasance was cut off from the city by a tall exterior wall. They built all that. They built all that. They built all that. I wasn't an expert on dogs, but I thought that this black thoroughbred dog was a Klatchian hound, also known as the Kalef Klatchani. Small, proud, and ruthless. Klachani. The Kalef Klachani were prized by dog breeders throughout the Circle Sea. What this one was doing out on the streets was anyone's guess. Much nicer? Much nicer? Up, up, back, up, up. I thought about petting the dog, but there was something about the way he looked that made me think twice, maybe even three times about it. Pasiolus. Why he's way over there for some reason. Ah, no, no, no. Can I do all that work in order to upload the next program? I didn't know how long I'd have to wait until something happened, but it turned out to be less than I thought. I'd suspected I'd been being followed, and I wasn't surprised to find that Al Kali was skulking around behind me. Gods alone knows how he got into the university. But if I could do it, I guess anyone could. Box right to the dog. Yikes. It was over in seconds. No, no, um, the Owen the Frisky said neither. I was about to follow the killer's creep. trail when I saw a familiar face. Why did you carry on with the case, Luton? Too many people told me to stop. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. I like you, Luton. It didn't have to be this way. So you're behind this, are you? I'm just a servant. My master, Anu Anu, is behind this. That beast is Mooncalf's god? Mooncalf didn't start this cult. I did. When the last human worshippers of Anu Anu had passed on, leaving only an empty temple in their wake, the cult lived on among the lycanthropes. My late husband got me involved. And I came back to Ankh Morpork to arrange everything. Came back? I thought you'd realize, Luton. I'm Therma. It figures. You killed Malachite, didn't you? I didn't kill any of them. My master did that. We just arranged everything for him. He's stronger when we gather together and pray. 
you were in the temple of small gods each time there was a murder. It was a perfect alibi. Why was Malachite looking for you? I'm his sister. His sister? Hands up who can spot the big problem here. I was adopted by Mr. and Mrs. Karst. They named me Therma. And Malachite and I grew up together. What happened? It's a tough life when you're a poor troll. And tougher still when you weren't born a troll. I used to sit at the table eating bread while the rest of the family was chewing cold sandwiches. That kind of thing leaves its mark on a girl. My heart bleeds for you. Malachite and I broke into the von Überwald mansion and made off with some of the Count's valuables, including that pendant you've been carrying around. And that jeweled box in the carriage that presumably held the asp that poisoned Reagan. That's right. How did you and Malachite get separated? He got caught, but he didn't tell the watch about me. I thought I'd seen the last of him. I sold most of what I got, and I was living off it comfortably. But I'd seen that painting in the hallway, and it got me thinking. The painting that looks like you? Exactly. I reinvented myself as a debutante, and I seduced Ulrich and married into high society. I went back to Überwald with him, changed my name to Carlotta, and my life as a troll was forgotten. Therma was dead. Long live Carlotta von Überwald. Did you know Ulrich was a werewolf? Not until the honeymoon. That was a surprise, I can tell you. Not yeah, entirely an unpleasant that time. one, I have to say. How did you get involved in this cult business? Before he died, Ulrich inducted me into the worship of Anu Anu, and it became my mission to engineer his return to power. I recruited followers and we prayed to him, gradually awakening his consciousness. He'd been stuck in the form of a small dog on the streets of Al-Khali for decades, not even remembering who he was. As our numbers grew, Anu Anu's power grew. Now read the books, eventually he was able to slip aboard a ship and steal his way here to Ankh Morpork. The Milka. That's right. The Milka also stopped off at Sort, where it picked up Mundi. He was supposed to be bringing us the Sortie's Falchion, having stolen it from a dig at Sorta. The archaeologists didn't even know it was there. Unfortunately, what we hadn't counted on was that Mundi was a man with few scruples and even less brains to go with it. Either he approached Horst, or Horst approached him. One way or another, he arranged to sell the sword to that devious troll. You know, it's even time Only spinner, he didn't have, have the sword, of did he? He'd concealed it in one of the crates in the cargo hold. We didn't know that. We just knew that Mundi had gone to ground. That's why I hired you to find him. And when I did, your cult killed him. Only you'd expected the sword to be with him. And by the time he was dead, it was too late to ask him where he'd put it. We couldn't believe our luck when you found the sword for us after Mundi's death. I'm sorry that my master had to stab you to get it. Did you know I was going to get killed? Was that why you made me into a werewolf? I suspected that things would get a little rough for you, and I believed you were too valuable an asset to waste. I'm flattered. And the counterweight killings were your cult attempting to summon Nylon Athetep by mimicking the way he was summoned Hello, before. I don't get it. With the Falchion, my master can defeat okay. the laddering yeah, horror I... again. And he will grow in power, ascending to the ranks of the most powerful gods, where he belongs. That's all yeah, very like, well, I, but a lot I of people died that for that dream. Like days, you can't uh, just go around killing people hold. whenever the notion I, I strikes you. It's not polite. polite. What are the lives of a few oh, people a against the prize? I... Reagan knew, didn't he? Or at least suspected. I don't know what he actually knew, but he suspected a lot. He'd been blackmailing me for weeks. He had to go. Why are you telling me all this? It's customary for the villain to explain his evil schemes when the hero is captured. I'm no hero, and you're no villain either. We're just people. You know it's not too late, Luton. Join us. Join your cult. What happens if I refuse? There's no point in refusing. It's already too late to stop the summoning of Nylon Athetep. Al-Khali was the eighth murder. Even now, the other cultists are gathering at the focal point for the invocation. That would be the temple under the disc theater, I take it. You're good. I'll give you that. Let's go, or we'll miss the pre-summoning. What if I try to stop you? Like I said, it's already too late for that. Join us, Luton. You know it's the only choice. I could kill you and make a run for it. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, Luton? 
After all we've been through. You arranged the murder of your own brother, and you'd have me killed too if I got in the way. So what? In this world, you get one chance at happiness. You may be right. All right. I'll go along with this for now. But I'm not making any promises for the future. That's good enough for me. Carlotta told me she would have to bind me in case I got any foolish ideas. And then she escorted me into the depths of the temple. It looked like the whole crowd was there. As well as Carlotta, I recognized Mooncalf and Warb, the wizard from Saturnalia. Eight of them in all, one for each person on the list. But my attention was drawn to the hulking mass of Anu Anu and the golden sword that he was wielding like it was a toothpick. It begins. Take your places, people. Everyone remember your lines. Nyarnathotep, who summoned thee? In accordance with the ancient pacts, we have made eight sacrifices in the manner prescribed. Come to us! I was filled with an overwhelming sensation of dread. I guess summoning rituals have that effect on me. It is here! Now I command you, by the power of the fashion, to bend to my will! Bend to my will, I command thee! I hold the fashion! You will obey me! I got the impression that that wasn't supposed to happen. The next thing I knew, the temple was coming apart at the seams, and rocks were falling everywhere. I don't know what was wrong, but it seemed as if Anu Anu couldn't control the unspeakable force of cosmic horror that he had unleashed. And now it was loose in the city, as if my day wasn't bad enough already. After the rubble had settled, I pulled myself out from under it and had a look around. The temple seemed different somehow. And not just because the roof had caved in. Anu Anu was lying in a crumpled heap on the other side of the chamber, and Carlotta was tending to his wounds. The rest of the cult had made their getaway. Everyone but Warb, whose luck had taken a permanent turn for the worse. I'm recording now. Long back. Uh, boy, Chad paused it right up in the ceiling a bit, and so now I can uh, get back to the act. What happened there is a guy for work to ping up to call to tell me if I just stuck right to swap stories. And I'd been having, I was having an issue with a vehicle. Um, a leaky tail, and I plastered all kinds of Joby weld on it and got me hole in it. Just in time for the weekend. And there. Getting the parts and getting the parts ordered, so uh, I'm not too sure I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Not get the rest of the guy off, so I'm going to do more disc release. I think I'm... Oh, I'm dead. Um, I don't think I'm too far my way from being done with this game. I got to... I got to go. Get some cool I guess. Carlotta was obviously upset by Anu Anu's injuries. I guess there was a heart in that cold chest somewhere. I should I um well there's seen our surly Yaga's and strike which is retuck yay! Um go to it, girls. Oh, here I do have a farting girl stage. Come on, Carlotta, let's get out of here before the rest of the roof comes down. I'm not leaving my master. He's not going to make it. You can at least save yourself. Leave us, Luton. Leave. Uh, what the heck happened to Luton Scullies? I love the sword and it turns to Donna Beat Keeper. God, I think I had suddenly come in. I forgot to record these lines earlier and then they cut somebody else. For a god, Anu Anu was looking in a bad way. I tried to listen in to what Anu Anu was saying, but his voice was weak and faltering. I should have known. The inscription. I... I forgot the inscription. Quiet, master. Conserve your strength. Oh, 
What's Wart doing over here? It looked as if part of the ceiling had rearranged most of Warb's head. The only thing of interest on Warb's body was the charm bracelet, and I didn't want to take that back. I only hope he got some good luck out of it before his final payoff came. Maybe I should have warned him. Maybe he got what he deserved. Who was I to judge? I searched the rubble and uncovered the golden falchion. The sword was bad luck, but I had a feeling it was safer in my hands than anyone else's. Yeah, but are they safer with the heavier events? Um, let's see. I guess Kong's supposed to be around here somewhere. An inscription had appeared on the wall. Maybe it had been there all the time, and I just couldn't read it. I wasn't sure. It seemed to say, Quad Nessiant Aos Interficit. I didn't know what it meant. Quad meant what, but that was all I knew. Okay, isn't there some other guy around here? I talked to Khan before leaving. Uh, where is Khan? Where's Khan? Why he really let me know that there's was here? Oh, there's, there he is. The terrified cultist was obviously in pain and finding it hard to walk. He wasn't going anywhere. Well, he wasn't going anywhere fast, anyway. What's up with you? <laughs> Broke my stupid leg when the roof came in. <laughs> Which one are you? What? You must be Coom. How did you know that? I recognize your voice. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't turn you over to the watch. Please, don't. <laughs> I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. It was just a little fun, you know? Secret meetings and plots for world domination. I mean, it's intoxicating. Well, now it's blown up in your face and at least one member of your cult is dead. Who was it? Warb. He had a disagreement with a large block of stone. I, I, I don't want to do... I mean, <laughs> I I I'm terrified. I... I I suspect that some of the cultists might have wanted us to fail. Really? Why? I don't know. Just a hunch. Please don't turn me over to the watch. I didn't do anything wrong. Eight people died because of your cult. I... 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 No. I'm sorry. I should never have got involved. Where have the others gone? I don't know. Back to the sanctuary, I guess. They didn't really tell me much. I was only the novice. Maybe I was getting soft in my old age, but I couldn't escape the feeling that the poor fool was just a victim of peer pressure. I guess he just wanted to belong to something, and he didn't much uh. care what. I sympathized. In my own way. Get going. I don't ever want to see you again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this. I'd better not. <laughs> Some again, little bit of the end. <laughs> I think usually whenever Lewin's talking to himself, they use a white text, and when he's talking to somebody else, they use a real text. And it usually doesn't mean when he's talking. Okay, well, I'll read. Talk to, uh, unretentive Kuna. Go to some of my favorite comics on YouTube by the Kuna comics. Uh, thank you. Wow, well, these three are so up on the flight. I don't know exactly what I hope to learn from See? the sanctuary, but I went anyway. Maybe I was hoping that all the cultists would be as easily intimidated as Coom. I was wrong. You're very sharp, Mr. Luton. You've done a very sharp thing. 
maybe even sharp enough to cut your own throat. You must be Kondo. I'm flattered. How did you know? <laughs> I recognize your voice. You tried to kill me with that crossbow once before. It's silver-tipped before you get any heroic ideas. The dark sect isn't as sloppy as the cult of Anu Anu. A cult within a cult. We couldn't believe our luck. Mooncalf and Therma were looking for people to join their cult, and they actually wanted to summon Nile or Nethotep. Can you believe that? Do you have any idea how rare it is that someone wants to summon the laddering horror for anything other than wreaking havoc and destruction? Who's we? Oh, no, it's not that easy. Do you think I'm the overconfident villain who reveals his whole plot to the hero shortly before placing you in an overly complex life or death situation that you then escape from at the last minute? It might make life easier if you were. Real life isn't like the clickies, Luton. The good guys no, don't always win. What makes you think I'm the good guy? I don't care what side you're on, Luton. All I care about is that we are victorious and that everything is destroyed. I just don't understand why anyone would want to destroy the whole of creation. If you want to die, why not just kill yourself? I'm going to achieve something with my life, Luton. Something that no one will ever forget. Everyone's going to be dead. No one is going to remember anything. And that's an achievement no one else can claim. You're insane. That's what my psychiatrist said. I had to kill like him too. He knew too much, just like you. Some people say that when you're about to die, your life flashes before your eyes. For me, the world seemed to go into slow motion. I told you, Luton. The good guys don't always win. Very true. But they try much harder. I'm dead, aren't I? Am I going to spend eternity suffering in the pits of hell for what I've done? If that's what you want. Oh, I can't believe I'm not going to find out how all this ends. After all the work I put into it. It's never fun being taken off a project you've worked hard on. That's the last time I get so involved in my work. How right you are. When I came to, I wasn't sure if I was dead or alive. That seemed to be happening to me a lot. Hello again. Have you come for me? No. I was just passing through, and I thought it would be polite to say hello. Isn't that what you're supposed to do with acquaintances? If you want to scare them to death. Sorry. I'm not good in social situations. It must be hard to fit in when you're a seven-foot-tall skeleton with a scythe. I'll see you later. That doesn't fill me with confidence. That, I'm afraid is your problem. Hi, right. This bot to stop this recording to go on to part two. Where is my mouse? Where's my mousey? Don't see I have that in this. 